Coral is an organic substance capable of self-propagation. The speed at which it proliferates is determined by the density of the colony. As such, a vacuum would provide an ideal environment to maximize coral density. However, one must not overlook the signs of mutation within the coral brought about by this density effect. It is mutations such as these that will bring about a collapse that humanity has no hope of controlling. Assistant number one has lost his mind. His research has utterly consumed him. Granted, there may be some logic to see pull sensory augmentation on human subjects, but no ethical scholar would ever dare cross that point of no return. Mankind is driven mad by possibilities. What does Coral represent, if not sheer potential? I've decided that assistant number one's son is to remain at the lab. He's a reticent one, tough too, beyond his years. And now, our research has robbed him of his mother and driven his father mad. He has every right to hate me. Perhaps assistant number two will be able to help. She does seem to have a knack for assembling toys. I hope that at least she can give him something to smile about. No. The coral tide is rising at an abnormal rate. This resonance, it suggests some kind of mutation. Run the calculations. How much time do we have? 47 hours, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time. Deploy Ibis. There is no averting the ruin that awaits both the Institute and Rubicon itself. I must now concern myself with what follows. The data show signs of wave mutation. Observation must continue. Assistant number two is our only remaining hope. Though it pains me, I have no choice but to pass the legacy of our sins onto her. My own student. Twelve minutes remain. I have done all that I must. I alone shall bear the burden of watching the fires of Ibis burn. Whatever future awaits the boy, I hope he grows into a man strong enough to seize it. I have friends in the Jupiter colonies. Surely they will look after him.